All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Stunlock back with Skimming Through the Zombie Apocalypse. This is episode three. And uh, today we're going to take Krista on a little trip. Krista, darling, hopefully we don't get you killed. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Here we are. Pharmacy, huh? Yup. Let's get started. All right. He looked like he didn't even know they were at a pharmacy. Here I am. We see you. Door's locked. Okay. You remember how to use the lock picking tools? Vaguely. Don't worry, I'll help you. Oh boy, here we go. My favorite part. One. Oh, God, man. Oh, my God. Nice. Done. I'm getting better at it. Here's some cough syrup. Good. Cough syrup. What are these worth? They're worth. Gill value is 10, other 5. That's pretty good. This whole like selection thing, like it, it's dark when you select it, it should be the other way around. I get confused. Alright, done. And a few first aid kits. Oh, we'll take those, thank you very much. Those are worth a lot. Holy crap. A roll of gauze. Gauzes, gauzes are worth four on the street. Like, see, every time you select something on the other side, the the uh, selection stays on the other side, on the side that you scavenged on, like your stuff, instead of going back to the other side. I don't know. That keeps tripping me up. Well, that's it. Really? Actually, there's a basement door. Good. Go down there. Most of the items are probably stored there. I don't think so, Gramps. I can't see a thing from up here. So here's the thing, guys. Oh man, hold on. There's no safer place in the basement. I don't know about that. What do you think? See, here's the thing. Did we take the risk? I mean, we just scored big. Those, uh, this stuff is really valuable. Like, do we want to risk it? And then if she dies, then we don't get anything, right? That's what I would assume. So the only reason why I don't want to do it, it's filled with zombies. There are weirdos down there. <laughs> there are weirdos down there? I don't know what's down there. They would have already attacked you. Trust me. You're safer in that basement than up here. Nothing bad will happen on our watch. Hey, yeah, something bad will definitely happen on our watch. I'm gonna say you're safer in the basement. We're going, let's go for it. Let's just go for it. You're safer in that basement than up here. So now you're saying that I'm not safe up here. Your part of the deal was my safety. I'm saying that considering it's a zombie apocalypse, you're safer in the basement. You're just saying what I want to hear. But I think I see some good stuff in there, so I'm going in anyway. Oh, yeah, there's a lot down here. Nice. We took a risk, and it was worth it. All right. See what I mean? Like, I have to keep I have to keep clicking all the way back over again. Oh, we can't carry anymore? Wait. Oh, it goes. All right. Let's let's uh, let's get rid of the toilet tissue. I mean, we know that. We can get that probably anywhere. Let's grab this. This is worth a lot. And oh, different items have different weights. This has a weight of three. This has a weight of one. So let's return all of these toilet tissues. I want these. We can pick up one more of these and weight of one, weight of two. This could be worth 10 to 50. All right, we'll stop here. We'll stop here. Ruby. Hmm, wait, what is this? 
what? Is everything okay? Ah! Fucking zombie! A zombie? Yes, a zombie! Oh, get out! It almost got me. I barely escaped. We can see you. Are you blocking the hatch door? I'm trying. Don't let the zombie get through. Is there anything you can put on the door to keep it closed, besides your body? I don't think so. Do you see anything? Um... No. Ugh, thanks a lot. Oh, you idiots are a great help. Let us think for a bit. Hurry up! What do we do here? See what you've done? Sending a poor animal to her death? Oh, would you prefer it be you? Uh, not exactly. But, but what the hell are we going to do? I don't know. Uh, we really should have been more careful on our second run. It's a learning process, Larry. Hey, did, did you say your second run? Larry, you dumbass. The walkie-talkie's on. But you're the one holding the button. Oh. Right. <laughs> well, my bad then. I can't believe this is your second time doing this. You said you were from the guild. We are. Of course we are. It's just that... This is our second time guiding somebody. Yeah, that's the ticket. This is our second time guiding somebody. Uh, I can't believe this. Uh, okay, listen. Do you think you can make a run for it? Are you fucking crazy? It's a coyote zombie. Do you want to get me killed? I barely escaped the basement. A freaking coyote? Yes! Well, shit. Okay, listen. All right, let's get us some help. I kind of feel bad. Just stay there. We're going to go get some help real quick. Wait, no. You're going to leave me here? We're going to come back. If it wasn't able to get through yet, then it won't be able to later either. It can't get stronger over time. What kind of bullshit is that, dog? It's called basic science. <laughs> basic science. It doesn't science. have the energy to... Yeah, yeah. We're going to go now. Stay strong. I can't believe you. You better come back in light speed. Actually, light like, speed measures distance. Okay, okay. Alright, what are we doing for real Where here? are we gonna find help? Let's go back to the camp. Maybe the, uh, the, the, the kangaroo Hank, girl will help us. I am not very confident that the animals at the camp are willing to help. Eh, yeah, we'll see. Hey, look, an animal sitting by the road. Maybe he'll save us the trouble of traveling back to the camp. I hope so. Wait. What is that? Um, I don't know. Looks like a small bear. Oh, I think it's a capybara. Capy what? Capybara. You never seen one? How can anybody keep track of all the races in this town? Like, there are more races than animals. Like, just pull over. Hi there. Are you guys animal eaters? What? No. Why would you assume? Oh, okay, good. I ran into some animal eaters a week ago. <laughs> what kind of animal eaters? You mean zombies? You mean zombies? Nah, just regular animal eaters. Don't you worry, Cappy bro. I'm a herbivore, and Larry's a pussy. You're safe. Capybara, not Cappy bro. No, no, I like Cappy bro. Nobody eats a bro. So, bro. <laughs> you had any traumatic experiences, or how safe are these roads? How safe are these roads? How safe are these roads? Don't travel at night. Night is the worst, man. Something happened to you at night. Something happened to you at night? Oh, no, I mean, yeah. Don't worry about it. Just don't travel by night. Okay, listen. We have a proposition. Our friend is in trouble. We can help each other. We can help each other. We can help each other. You need help? Well, not us. Our friend needs help. What happened? She got trapped. She's standing on a basement door blocking the... Oh, man. Animal eater. He's afraid of... He's afraid of animal eaters more than he's afraid of zombies, I think, right? The zombie. Zombie. Oh, man. So you need me to fight the zombie? No, just to carry some heavy object and block the basement door. Okay, I can do that. And for your troubles, we'll give you... Great. We have to give him a cut? 
Ah, 40%. Should I go low? 40% of the loot. What are you talking about? What loot? We have some loot. And for your reward... No, no, I don't need a reward for helping out somebody. Sorry, we have a negotiation genius here. Shut up, Larry. Okay, let's go then. Alright, so he's gonna do Shinier? it for free. Yeah. Just pick up something heavy to put on the basement door. Alright, we scored then. Look! Some old furniture. That'll do. Bro, can you pick it up? Yeah. What should I take? Just pick up a cabinet. Big one or small one? Big one. Big one. Nah, we don't need a big one. A smaller one will do. And let's just be safe. How the hell is he gonna carry that thing? Plus, I don't even know if it'll fit through the pharmacy door. I can try. Like, the small one is already heavier than the goat. I'm not completely sure about that. Listen, just take the... Take the big one. Bigger one. Okay. If it doesn't fit through the door, we're screwed. Wow. Good job. Let's go. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Krista, do you hear me? Krista? Um... Hank? I don't think she's here. Oh. Well... Crap. What's going on? Well... It looks like our friend... Oh no. I don't know. Maybe... Escaped? Oh man. Go investigate. <laughs> I'm gonna send him in. Bro, can you go inside and investigate what happened? Okay. How does it look? Hmm. Let's see. There seems to be signs of a struggle. Yeah. A piece of cloth ripped apart. Nail scratches on the floor. Furniture shows signs of a fight, too. Wow, are, are you sure about all this? Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, there! I can clearly see that she has escaped. She had a tough fight and took a good beating, but she managed to run out. Your friend is fine. Hmm, you're absolutely sure about this? Yeah, absolutely. How does he know? Are there any medical supplies left? Yes, there are some on the floor. Oh, she's gonna be pissed when she finds us. I guess we get to keep all of this stuff. Alright, let's take it. Poor Krista. Hey, but that's business. Zombie apocalypse. You know how it is. I can see that she used one first aid kit during the fight. She used it while fighting? Yeah, probably to heal herself. Dude, what do you think this is? <laughs> Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls? What about it? Plus, how could you possibly know something so specific and... Alright, whatever. Just come back to us. Okay. Here are the medical supplies. Is it okay if I keep some of them? Ugh. Negotiation genius was right. Oh, Everybody man. wants something. I knew it. I thought I would just be helping your friend, but... Yeah, yeah. You can have... I mean, he didn't really do that much. I'm gonna give him 10%. 10% of the loot. Only 10%? <sighs> you just fetched us a few items from across the street. You just fetched us a few items from across the street. Oh, okay. Alright, so, we're going to take this, because of the guild value, and that, and we'll leave him, oh, we can, we can only take six more, I have to leave him eleven, alright, got it, we're, yeah, that's good, that's good, we're done. I hope my skills were of use. Yeah, I guess. Uh, by the way... Where did you learn to follow tracks like that? 
Remember that Lord of the Rings scene when Aragorn follows the Hobbit's tracks after a battle? What? Uh, yeah? That's where. All right, bro. You were very helpful. We're gonna pod ways now. See you around, bros. Well, this is great. We have no clue as to what happened to Krista. Wait, what did he say about the basement door? Was it broken? I don't think he even mentioned the door. Wanna go in there and check it out? Hell no! Eh, let's bail then. Yeah, okay. I'm sure she's fine. If she'd have died, we'd have found her body here. Unless she got taken downstairs. Well, there are many possibilities of what could have happened. I guess. As Aragorn said after the track following scene, the fate of the hobbits is no longer in our hands. I think that's from a different scene, when they bailed on Frodo. After trekking the battle events, they kept following tracks to find the hobbits. Hmm, you might be right. Well, we're not freaking Aragorn. Oh, for fuck's sake, Larry. Now I got a huge craving to watch the Lord of the Rings. Maybe they have a TV at the guild. I hope so. So, where next? There's nothing else left around here according to the map. We should hit the road and get to the other side of town. Sure, let's go. Alright, so now we're gonna do some traveling. I guess we only have one other option than to go to this new camp over here. I guess we found our niche in the zombie apocalypse. Well, to be frank, this is my niche. You're more of a sidekick. What? I am an essential part of this scheme. And you know, I'm a salesman too. Yeah, you're a failed drug dealer. You're a failed drug user. Plus, I sold merch too. And whose walkie-talkies are we using to run this little operation? All right, all right. You're very important. Do you want a treat? Jeez. Anyway, according to this map, there's one more camp and two more scavenging places on the west side of town. This is going to be a long trip, so we have time for another one of my lessons. This one is called Hank's Slip. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Here it goes. If you ask enough questions and let people talk about themselves, they'll subconsciously slip the information on how to sell them whatever you're selling. That's not Hank's Slip, that's a Freudian Slip ripoff. <laughs> no, this is Hank's Slip, an original. Yeah, I can see now that all your notes are just stolen from others. Instead of overanalyzing, let's see how we can use this. Ugh. The main takeaway here is that we should ask more questions and gather useful information before rushing to close the deal. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Larry. See that up ahead? Is that some kid? Yeah. I bet he can scavenge for us. No. We're not getting some kid to scavenge for us. Why not? What's the matter with you? He's just a kid! So what? We'll be helping him. I don't see it that way. And how do you see it? Well, the kid has to scavenge for food somehow. Well, yeah, but... So why not help him out? I don't know, dude. It's way safer if he has somebody watching his back. Well, I guess... I, you know what? Uh, let's see. Fine, but we're letting him keep most of the loot. Okay, let's see if we can help him. Or nah, I just leave him there. I'm okay with these two. I, I think we should uh, recruit this kid. Fine, but we're letting nah, But we gotta play the scumbag. Let's do this. Okay, let's see if we can help him. Hey, kid. What's the matter? You want some candy? <laughs> Hank, what are you doing? What? You make us sound like fucking perverts. I mean, we can help you if you can help us. You know what I mean? We're not this cheese. Oh, let, Hank, for fuck's sake, just let me talk. What? Why? Hey, little buddy. It's okay. You're safe with us. Uh, we would like to... Help you get some food, teach you a few things about scavenging. I teach you a few things about scavenging. What do you say? Give me everything you fucking got in that fucking truck, shitheads. What? Blow your fucking heads up. Good work, Larry. He's got a freaking gun. Oh, we, wait, what? Are we getting robbed by a kid on a tricycle? <sighs> what were their little buddy? Guns are not toys. Were you raised in a garbage bin? Where did you learn to talk like that? Uh, what were their little buddy? Because I don't want to get shot. Oh, that little buddy. Now, 
I ain't fucking around. Look, kid, uh, we just want to help you. Do I look like I need help, you pervs? We are not. It's just that Hank can't talk with kids. Where are your parents? Let's ask questions. Where are your parents? Uh, maybe we can help you find them. This is your last chance, whores. <laughs> Seriously, what's with the language? Seriously, what's with the language? I'll count to three, and if I don't see some sweet stuff, I'll blast your faces off! Kid, this ain't one! Can, can we just talk about we're, two? We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Wait, is three inclusive or exclusive? Okay, wait, we'll give you some stuff. Okay, wait, we'll give you some stuff. Here, take this. Aw, oh, man, I don't want to give him anything. All right, let's see. Um, let's give him some cigarettes. Perfect thing to give to a kid. Uh, and I'll give him one of these. These have high guild value, though. We'll give him some soda. How about that, kid? Wait. And one of these. Some protection. I just realized what the protection is. <laughs> I wasn't really looking at the box until now. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Is that enough? Uh, I guess you can't carry too much. Yeah, this is some good shit. Bye. Wow. Can you believe this? Fucking unbelievable. That is one righteous kid. Man, we got screwed twice today. Looks like we arrived in the bad part of town. We arrived on the west side? Yeah, the camp should be really close by. Oh, shit. What? Well, uh... The camp is at a playground. Oh. So, you're afraid we'll run into that kid again? I don't know. He might be playing there. Shit. I don't I don't think that kid does a lot of playing though. Hmm. Bunch of adults hanging out at a playground. Shouldn't be too hard convincing them to scavenge for us, huh? Let's see. Alright, so which one of these looks like the perfect mark? I'm looking at this guy right here. And I'm seeing I'm seeing somebody who could be mark let's start with this guy wait Hank what are we really going to ask a freaking wombat why not I mean I mean just look at him yeah I know what you mean but what's the harm let's just talk with him ah uh, all right hey there little guy how was you want to be friends <laughs> How about becoming scavenging friends? Yeah, scavenging friends. How about becoming scavenging friends? You see, we have this deal that we offer to only some... I'll do it! Wait, what? what? I'll do it! Let's go scavenging! Okay, but first, here's how it works. One of us scavenges, and the other one are the lookouts. The other ones are the lookouts. You're the one who actually does the scavenging. Right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna say the first one. We're not gonna specify who's actually doing the heavy lifting yet. One of us scavenges and the other ones are the lookouts. What do I get to do? You, my friend, get to do the The fun part. The fun part. Scavenging? Uh, you got it, buddy. Yay! Oh okay. Uh, good then. And we'll let you keep. Wow, he's down already. Let's start him off low. I think he, he'll take 20%. 20% of the loot? I get to keep all that? Yeah, sure. Whoa, sign me up! Welcome aboard. This guy's perfect. Hank, just a moment. What the actual fuck is going on here? <laughs> I've just made a sweet deal. Nothing about this seems off to you? Relax, it's all under control. Okay, buddy, let's go. Wumba bumba wumba. What? 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 Uh, dude, he's a wombat. Womba, bomb, whatever. That's what they yell when they're happy. Yeah, see, I'm not. I'm starting to get worried about. I'm having second thoughts. Uh, you know what? Let's take him. He, he <laughs> I have a feeling he's gonna do something really stupid while we're out there, though. 
All right, here we go. Let's let's go. Let's go. Where to? There's only one nearby place. A bookstore. All right, so we're taking this wombat to the bookstore. I can go inside? Yep. Yep. Oh boy. Look at all these books. I hope they have lots of pictures. Wow. Why? 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 Pictures. So I can use the books? Just leave them be, what? Larry. It won't be. Start looting. Looting. Yay! Wow. Okay, uh, so let's just grab everything here. Others value 100 P. All of these books are worth 100 P each? Let's get it. Let's go. All of that. I'll take that, that, that. Let's go. Here are more. Yep. Mine, 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 and mine. Are there any medicine books? Those are worth the most in the guild. I don't know. Well, what books did you pick up? Um, no pictures on these. Picture pictures? Wait, you mean you can't read? Will you stop it, Larry? Wamba bumba wombat. Again with that? I, what the fuck does that mean? What's the matter with you, Larry? How are you just ignoring all this? Who cares? We all have our personality quirks. Just uh Friends, wait. I heard something. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. Oh. Somebody is inside this locker. Somebody probably locked themselves in there before turning into a Just say zombie, because he's not gonna know what a weirdo means. Zombie. Zombie? A bad animal. The ones that bite and look ugly. But what if he's my friend? Oh god. Oh, zombie, just leave it there. Friend. Are you a what? zombie? Not a friend. A bad animal. I let my friend out. Uh, would oh you give us a god. second wombat? This guy's a nut job. Wait, Hank. Is he? Is he? <gasps> whoa, whoa. That's a harsh word. I, and you knew about this? What? No, of, of course not. Are you fucking kidding me? We're using a mentally disabled animal to scavenge for us. The really weird thing is how you didn't notice. Hey, don't change the subject here, you fucking psycho. Like, this is a lot about you. Hank, we have a, ri a challenged animal in there that is about to release a zombie so they can become friends. Maybe it's not a zombie. Well, it's a zombie. Actually, that could be true. No, I'm just kidding. Of course it's a zombie. What kind of animal would lock itself in the closet for no reason? Hey, give me the binoculars. Yes. Uh, I think this locker can't be locked from the inside. What are we doing? So, so somebody locked this animal in the locker. Because it was about to turn into a zombie. Uh, just listen to the sounds it's making. Look, we already confused a drunk parrot for a zombie. Maybe its mouth is taped shut. Hank, if we leave it here, we might be condemning an animal to its death. And if we open it, we might be condemning a wombat to his death. Not if we're careful. Wombi, listen. You have the lockpicking tool I gave you. I'll guide you into unlocking the locker, and then just run away before anything gets out. Yes. No, 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 it's too dangerous. Oh, man. These moral dilemmas, I did not expect this from a game like this. First of all, this whole situation is so messed up. Um, it sounds like a zombie, man. And I think if we open this thing up, he's not getting away from this. Like, he's going to get eaten. Right? He's going to get chomped. So I think the best thing for us to do is to leave leave whatever's in there in there. I think that's the greater risk. I'm, I'd rather go with what we know in this particular case. <sighs> okay, here we go. Fine. Let's leave a poor animal to die in there. But I don't want to leave my friend to die. He's going to open it. He's going to freaking open it, isn't he? I have a feeling he's going to open it anyway. All right, let's open it. You know what? Me neither. Let's open it. But first, pick up that pipe from the floor. In case it's not a friend. Okay. Now let me guide you in unlocking this. <laughs> this is gonna be a disaster. Oh god. Okay. One. Oh! I had them all. But the last one.
There you go. Uh, of course. Why am I not surprised? Oh my god. What the hell are you doing in that locker, you idiot? Carl? It's friggin' Whoa. Carl. Oh shit. Hank, look at it. Wait, he's really a zombie he now. He might actually be a zombie at this point. Eh, he always looks like that. No, he's not talking. And look at his eyes. Son of a bitch. I don't know. We've got to tell the wombat what to do. Okay, wombi. He might be just drunk. <laughs> Smash his head with the pipe. Ah oh, man. But see, he makes those noises anyway. But I don't know. I don't know. I I, I did not expect this game to be like this. All right. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Smash his head with the pipe. Let's say, stay cool. He's a friend. Stay cool. He's a friend. Okay. Oh man, I don't know if this is such a good idea. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, the wombat dies? I meant to us. Maybe we should tell him to kill it. Hmm. See what, uh, somebody locked Carl in there though, right? So, did... <laughs> Smash his head. Smash the head. Wombie, smash his head with that pipe. Smash? Yes, you've got to trust your friends. He's a bad, ugly, biting animal. Okay. Ah! Stop it! What's with animals and pipes today? <laughs> no, 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 stop! <laughs> Who that? My friends. It's Hank. You idiots again! What's wrong with you? All right, all right. We've been through this whole thing already. Just tell us what the fuck you're doing locked in the closet. I'm not in the closet. Oh, jeez. You were a moment ago. I was? What? Oh, yeah. I was. I think it was the fucking bulls. Yes, they locked me in. What assholes? Yeah, fucking worst. But they didn't know <gasps> that I had my whiskey on me. So the joke's on them. <laughs> I don't think that makes the joke... <laughs> Whatever. Look, the truck. The bulls. Oh, we gotta go. Yes. Listen, Wombat. You can't tell the bulls you're with us. I, just pretend you're here on your own. But we are friends. Yes. Yes. Oh Christ. All right. Let's pretend we're not for a moment. Let's play a game where we're not. Let's play a game. But let's play a game where we're not. No. <laughs> we are friends. Oh God. Oh jeez. Hey, what is this? Did you let Zombie Carl out? Hello, friends. He is way too drunk. He could have stumbled into a zombie like that while we were away. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that. I'm positive the zombies already accepted him as their own. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Wait, who said that? Oops. Rabbit, is that you? And here I was, worried the mentally disabled wombat would blow our cover. And dog! You sons of bitches! We've been wandering aimlessly a whole day without a map. I didn't come into your apartment to rob you. You racist bastards deserved it. Where are you anyway? Um. Uh, on some rooftop with binoculars watching you, or at our secret base, or on some rooftop. On some rooftop with binoculars watching you. You'll never find us. I'm sure this wombat won't mind taking a beating for you then. What do you want? A map! Well, you can't have it. Come here! Do you want to be friends? <laughs> what is this? Another joker like you, Rabbit? They are very similar. How's the guild, anyhow? What do you care? Oh, nothing. We were just... We were thinking about joining. Thinking about joining? Oh, don't you motherfuckers dare! We will eat you alive in there. We heard it's quite nice. No, it's not nice. So, what's it gonna be? Do we need to beat up the wombat or what? All right, listen. I've seen the guild's item values on your map. It appears the big items are worth a lot. Stop taking an interest in our guild. So you guys are looking for big stuff, right? Like my fancy stove? What do you care what we're looking for? Because I saw... An appliance store that has not been looted at all, or a store with amazing old French furniture. 
Let's tell them about the appliance store. Throw them off the scent. An appliance store that has not been looted at all. Not even windows are broken. Whatever. So I can tell you exactly where it is. If you let the wombat and most importantly, his loot go. I don't trust you, rabbit. We've got to trust each other. We'll be under the same roof soon. So you are looking to join over my dead body. And let's not be rash here. I'm beating up the wombat. Because we're friends? <laughs> Shut up, you joker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the wombat is intellectually disabled. But how about we give you a, a lead for some big loot? I wonder if we say this, will they leave him alone? They don't care about, yeah. Wait, I, the wombat is intellectually disabled. Yeah, right. Hold on, Barney. He might be. Look at him. Seriously? Hi, friend. He's pretending. I'm not so sure. Let's just take all of his loot and leave him be. Earl, what does he have? Uh, hold on, hold on. Listen, we won't join the guild if you leave his loot. Why should we trust you? I give you my honest rabbit word. Or we are we like traveling. We don't care about joining some stupid guild. Giving them my honest rabbit word will mean nothing to them. But I don't know if they'll believe this one either. Let's go with the second one. We like traveling. We don't care about joining some stupid guild. Hmm. Is that so? Yes. We were just teasing you. Hmm. All right. But if we see you there, I'll consider our agreement to be broken, and I will not take it lightly. Sure, we promise. Okay, scram, Wombat. Me? Yes. Me what? Get out of here! Here? Just get out of here, you weirdo. <laughs> Go! I hate it when they misuse that word. Bye-bye, <laughs> friend. We have the loot? Well done, Wombat. Can we have our part of the loot? Yes. Alright, so... He gets to keep 219. He gets to keep, uh... Two books? Three books? Three books. 219. Yeah, that's a little over... That's a little over 200, so... We'll leave him with three. See you around, Wombie. Can I come with you? No. Oh, um... Well... You know... <sighs> what do you need us for? Uh, you can find a better group than us. Let's ask him what he needs first. Maybe he needs a ride back. What do you need us for? You're doing really well on your own. You're right. Uh, we gotta go. Uh, see you around, Wombie. Oh, okay. Oh man, why do you have to do the look back? I'm feeling really bad about this, Hank. Don't worry about it. I bet you two lines of code that he'll survive longer than we do. Hmm... Sure. Yeah, but if you're dead, then how are you gonna... Anyway. Alright, we're gonna stop here. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider hitting the like button, subscribing, or even leaving a comment. This pleases the algorithm and it helps the channel grow. Again, as always, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.